Hey everyone, I haven't really been picking up a lot of vinyl and CD finds of all kinds lately, but uh, I was accruing a few, so I figured I'd, I'd do a video, you know, and just show you like just a tiny bit of titles that I picked up recently, beginning with this compact disc. Uh, I'm not sure if I have this already, but this was only like four bucks used and because i love diana ross and the supremes and i have so many albums of theirs and even some cd compilations of theirs not sure if i have this one if i showed this one already but i picked it up again for four bucks if i had it i have it in doubles i haven't been able to see a trace of it around here maybe it's a first timer can't remember anyway uh, the ultimate collection you know we lost uh, mary wilson recently so this is a nice uh, collection of uh, the big hits you know and uh this will play through in my car very, very nicely, all the way through. Okay, so next up, these are two interesting items I've been dying to show on here. And uh, I was waiting to, to find more stuff. I don't want to just make a video just showing this. But um, let's go. First off, I'm going to show a couple of jukebox EPs. These are, these are small size, 7-inch jukebox EPs. One of them is More of the Monkeys, and the other one is Shut Down, Volume 2, The Beach Boys. Okay, so this is, <laughs> these are really good, and um, maybe this will be the thumbnail. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Okay, just pause it for a picture. Maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't. Uh, how cool is this? Uh, let me take this out of the sleeve, show you what we have. Uh, the picture, of course, on the front, you know, miniature monkey. Uh, Jukebox EP, the back, nothing. And it's the, the Cold Gems label, of course. And you can see the songs they have there. I'm a Believer, Mary, Mary, uh, When Love Comes Knocking at Your Door. And then we turn it around for this side here. I'm trying to read it backwards, folks. Bear with me. <laughs> I'm not your stepping stone. Uh, the kind of girl I could love, and she, you know, the only thing about this was I love every song on here except for I'm not that wild about when love comes knocking at your door, which is by Neil Sedaka. You know, it's all right, but uh, if this collection had "Look Out, Here Comes Tomorrow" on it, it would have been perfect for me. Just saying. Okay, um, let's show you the Beach Boys one. Beach Boys, same deal. You know, nothing, nothing on. Nothing on the back, just a blank white cover. Um, I'm going to take this one out of here. I should also mention, yeah, this, this these play. I, I don't know if both of them play on 33. I think they do. Yeah, they both play on 33. It's not They don't play on 45. Um, but here you go. You can see you got the uh, Capital 33 Compact. Really nice. Uh, wow, I can't read it. Oh... The songs on this one, I don't particularly care for much, to tell you the truth. Um, but my favorite Beach Boys song of all time is on here, and that would be Don't Worry Baby. You know, you see the bottom song there. Really nice to have these. I love when you find odd stuff like this. Um, I got two uh, LPs to show you, if I can get these together. Um, both of them by The Four Seasons. The Four Seasons sing Ain't That a Shame and 11 other hits. 11 others. And there you can see the list. Uh, let's open this up. I know a lot of people cringe when they hear this. Uh, what's interesting about this particular album is it's on VJ. Okay. Uh, and... I'll tell you something interesting. When I, when I was in my record store and I picked this up, I played the album because um, you won't see it here, I don't think. Um, but uh, the, there's a lot of scratches and smudges. It's, you see some dirt up there. It has to be clean. Look at the scratches. But despite this dirt there, which I have not yet cleaned off, I will I actually play it like that. You're not supposed to play the dirty record. I know that. It could go into the grooves more. But I tested it out, played all these songs, and you know what? These records are made to last. You could not hear a single pop, a single scratch, a single skip, nothing. You would think this was brand new. Uh, that's what's amazing about it. The other one 
is I'm going to show you the record on this one too. So even if you're not a big fan, check it out. This is a compilation, I guess. America's own number one singing group. Uh, girls, 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 we love girls. So do I. Four seasons. Um, I'm going to show you the record on here. This is another VJ one. And um, what I actually like about this, this one here, by the way, it has the inner sleeve, which I'll show you. I know a lot of people like inner sleeves. Really great recordings. VJ. Greatest gospel sound on records on V is on VJ. All right. Um, this is in really nice shape, but you know, I for, for a while I was thinking maybe this was a counterfeit. You know, the VJ introducing the Beatles album is like so counterfeited, but I don't think anybody counterfeited the Four Seasons. But this is like immaculate. This one is really in great shape, the label. But I was wondering if it was a counterfeit. Dead wax is so wide in there. You know, uh, that was one of the telltale signs of introducing the Beatles on VJ. If, if, if you have a big, thick gap there, it means that uh, it's a fake. But I don't think the same thing applies. And on this particular side, it's not a big dead wax there. It's a normal size dead wax. Beautiful label, no spindle wear. The name's above the hole. That's another telltale sign for the Beatles, that if you see that both name the album title and the group name above the hole, then it's not a fake. Don't know if that applies here. Maybe some Four Seasons fans know. And that's this is like an unplayed-looking record. This one looks like it's never been touched. And that's all I have for here. Uh, you know, I can't, I'm thinking maybe I forgot something, a cassette tape or something. Well, if I forgot anything, they'll pop up in the next edition. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a pleasant morning, noon, or night, wherever you may be. And uh, take care.